guys, I've just pulled into the parking garage again, and you know what that means. There's another install coming up for this one. I got something special. So I'll lay it right here. I got this from IND. So I'll be installing these black and performance kidney grills. And again, this will really add to the looks of the car so far. Kind of got that black and white theme going on. So going over the OEM ones. This is what it'll look like. So let's get started on the install. Here we go. At this point, I don't currently know what tools and bits I'm gonna need. So let's open up the hood first of all. Okay. Where to start? I think first of all, what I wanna do is take off these. Oh, it's hot. I drove this car for a while, so it's really warm. I'll take off this, ah, oh, that's hot. Don't touch these, they get really hot. Take off this rubber stripping here. Just pulls right off. Right off to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I'm gonna get my T30 Torx bit. Should fit just fine. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and remove all these six bolts. Hot. One, two of these clips. And I guess there's this one here and this one here as well. Just slide it up. Put it above the clips. That way it doesn't get pushed back onto it. The side as well. Alright, so now I should be able to have access. Okay, so coming over underneath the bumper, I'll see if I can show the clips here. Back there, you can kind of see the clips poking out. You want to push those down towards the ground. There's three here on the top. There's two on the sides and three on the bottom. At least that many. You can see what the clip looks like. So from here, you want to push down on the center of this clip and push it through. I can't get this out. I get them all out at the same time, I don't know. Dude, this is hard. <laughs> I'm like sweating. This is really hard. So I'm trying to get them all depressed at once. There's one currently depressing this one, and there should be two more here. Because I find I'm having difficulty having them all depressed at once and pulling out the grill. So I'll give this a try first. Okay, once you get them all out, it's gonna be like this. So here they are side by side. Do not be tempted to put this one in. If you wanna save yourself a bunch of headache, just like I wanna do now, do not put this in. But here we are. Here, let's have it side by side first. So now let's go ahead and remove the other one. Face. Look at this. Face. Here's a. Bitch. That's a. Bitch. Okay, you're. Bitch. Bitch. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> all right. So I'm unclipping the top three. I think they're all unclipped at this moment. I'm gonna do the side. Now the middle. Now the bottom. Okay. Now they're both out. There we go. Now we can go ahead and install them both. It's as easy as putting it all back together, left and right. So once you have access to behind the bumper, you can see these two bars here. And what I'm gonna do is clean them first because I will wrap them in a carbon fiber vinyl. Now 
going to be really easy. So line it up first. Just make sure it's snapped in in all directions. Now the other one. Now you want to secure the bumper back into place. So all you're doing at this point is repeating all the steps in reverse order. So first of all, you want to line it up with this area here. Make sure they all line up. We'll just go ahead and replace all the screws. Hand tighten them first. The okay, last step, and you don't want to forget this, put the rubber liner back on. We'll center it first, then just insert it back onto the bumper. Okay, so once this is all done, last step, close the hood. So it's been about 40 minutes in starting the install. I uh, had a hard time figuring out the clips. My fingers hurt, but there we go. That's what it looks like. It's the little details that really add to the look of the car. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.